welcome to the November 10th regular meeting of the Calaveras County Planning Commission. And let's get started with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do we have any staff announcements or agenda changes today? We have at least one, maybe Gabriel has more to add. Um, the second item on the agenda, which is the modification um, to the condition for the um, North Vista Plaza map, is being uh, continued until the December 8th meeting. So do we need to have a motion and a vote on the continuance? Yes. So do I have a motion to continue item two to our December meeting? Session so moved. Is there any member of the audience who would oppose that change? <laughs> None. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? None. Passes. Three, zero, two. And uh, it's time for our general public comment opportunity. Annette, do we have anybody online? There's no online public comment at this time. We will open and close the public comment portion of this hearing today. And get started with our regular agenda item one, 2022-036 zoning amendment for establishment of agriculture preserve in Williamson Act contract 3924, Atonio Avila at all. Thank That's you. how I've been pronouncing it. <laughs> And Gina, take it away. Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, so the county received a California Land Conservation contract application to establish an agriculture preserve in Williamson Act contract 392 for a total of 1,172.21 acres of land located at 2010 Hunt Road in Copperopolis approximately two and a half miles west of the Hunt Road and Highway 4 intersection. The 1,172 acres uh, is comprised of five assessor parcels and three legal parcels. The purpose of this meeting today is to consider the zoning amendment, making a recommendation to the Board of Supervisors, finding the zoning amendment is consistent with the general plan, the county zoning ordinance, in addition to the surrounding parcels. Prior to the applicant's purchase of the land in July of this year, the property has been used as a retreat center since the 1980s. As such, improvements on the land include two houses, one shop, two cabins, one storage building, sleeping quarters, a swimming pool, five septic systems, and a private airstrip. Um, the applicant's plan is to utilize the property um, as grazing for 40 um, head of cattle, um, projecting a gross annual income of $8,000 from production annually. Um, Scott Onetto, our county farm advisor, did conduct a feasibility study, um, which indicates uh, the land uh, can produce a gross uh, annual income of $29.70 per acre. Um, both of these exceed the minimum requirement to be eligible for the Williamson Act, Williamson Act which is $2,000 set forth in Board of Supervisors Resolution 75489. The property is designated by the County General Plan as resource production, which identifies lands capable and primarily used for agriculture operations and includes lands with conservation easements. Uh, these parcels are not located within a general plan designated community plan area. 
upon establishment of an agriculture preserve and California land conservation contract, the parcels restricted by that contract must be rezoned ag preserve. The purpose of the ag preserve zone is to protect and preserve lands for intensive agriculture and ranching production. The minimum parcel size for new parcels in the ag preserve zone is 50 acres. The 1,172 acres is comprised of three legal parcels, each greater than 50 acres in size. Pursuant to Board of Supervisors Resolution 75-489, an agriculture preserve consists of not less than 100 acres, provided that in order to meet the 100-acre requirement, two or more parcels may be combined if said uh, parcels are contiguous and in common ownership. Uh, the Ag Preserve and Williamson Act contract are concurrent um, in Calaveras County. And uh, the three contiguous parcels totaling 1,172.21 acres are currently under common ownership, meeting the minimum requirements set forth in Resolution 7549. The California Natural Diversity Database identifies the sighting of four different protected species within a five mile radius of the subject parcel. Policies of the conservation and open space element of the general plan encourages open space for the preservation of natural resources such as wildlife habitat, in addition to the managed production of resources including forests, rangeland, and agriculture lands. The subject property being, um, as being in both a high and very high fire hazard area, um, grazing cattle will reduce vegetation, thus reducing the fire hazard. The surrounding land uses are primarily agricultural, um, within, um, with thousands of acres being utilized as grazing land, nearly all of the land west of Pool Station Road is designated resource production, working lands, uh, as well as resource management. Zoning ranges from agriculture preserve to general agriculture. Just north of the subject property lies the Circle 20 subdivision, which we all know are 20-acre parcels zoned rural residential. And directly to the east of the properties, uh, to the subject property, is a rural transition A land use designation where the properties are zoned residential agriculture. Um, a P, A1, and R, A are all resource zones permitting agriculture operations. And even though the RR zone is a residential zone, it too um, permits agriculture operations. On August 24th, the Ag Advisory Committee met taking under consideration the application and information provided by the Planning Department and they voted to recommend um, the Board of Supervisors establish this contract. So in conclusion, uh, staff finds that the zoning amendment is consistent with goals and policies of the county general plan, the county zoning ordinance, and surrounding zoning and land uses. Additionally, the California um, land conservation contract application meets the minimum requirements set forth in Board of Supervisors Resolution 7549, as well as Chapter 1718 of the County Zoning Ordinance. Do you have any questions? Is there any member of the public who would like to comment on this item? There's no online public comment at this time. Thank you. So we'll close the public comment portion and um, consider the resolution. Are there any grammatical errors that we would like to address? Well, I don't know that all of these are grammatical, but um, I do or have substantive. a couple questions. In the second whereas clause, <clears throat> hang on. The, the property is described in part as located at 2010 Hunt Road in Copperopolis, oh. and it goes on to specify where it is, which is really quite a ways from Copperopolis. 
I don't think we need the phrase incorporopolis unless you have to have some time to identify. No, we can say near yeah. copperopolis. I think if you if you look at the situs that's applied to it, it says copperopolis, but mm -hmm. we all know it's not in the community of copper. So I can I can amend that to say near rather than in. And then this is just maybe a typo on page two, <clears throat> paragraph two, under the evidence section, the second sentence reads, the general plan finds the Agricultural Preserve <coughs> Williamson Act compatible with this land use designation, recognizing the economic value agriculture has on the Cal County of Calaveras. I don't think the word on is quite right. It should be in, I think. In. And you've already explained that each legal parcel is over 50 acres in size, so that <clears throat> takes care of that. Commissioner Parker, any comments on the resolution? No, no comments. Okay, so are you ready for the recommendation? I am if you are. Staff recommends the Planning Commission adopt Resolution 2022-013, recommending the Board of Supervisors adopt an ordinance amending the zoning of APN 052-017-058, 052-017-059, 052-017-060, 052-017-077, and 052-017-078 from General Agriculture to Agriculture Preserve for Antonio Avila et al. based upon approval of establishment of establishment of agriculture preserve in Williamson Act contract 392 for 1172.21 acres based on the findings included therein as amended so moved I second that all in favor aye, aye. any opposed none this is three zero with Two planning commissioners absent. Thank you. <coughs> and any commissioner reports today? No. No. Any planning director report today? Um, Madam Chair, I think that we would be able to bring before the planning commission the uh, Oak Woodlands Ordinance on December 8th. Uh, the Hardwood Advisory Committee is giving a last review of that ordinance today and um, then we'll forward that ordinance to the County Council for review and I think um, if everything goes well, we'll be talking about Oak Woodlands Ordinance at your December 8th Planning Commission meeting. Thank you. Thank you. And with that happy news, we're adjourned. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, <laughs> <laughs> this might be.